Well, that's what we're all about. You know, again, we're forming pastoras, right, shepherds. And, and that, that covers a lot of ground. When you say a shepherd, that means someone that really knows the sheep, uh, knows the way of the sheep, knows where they typically wander, knows how to find them, knows how to bring them back. Uh, the sheep know the shepherd's voice. Well, they won't know his voice unless they're close to them, you know. So all that, I think, under the rubric of shepherding, you understand a lot of the life of, uh, of a seminary. It's a place where shepherds are being uh, formed, and especially those who are, are, you know, happy to spend time with the lost sheep. The four pillars of the seminary in which they try to form us are human, spiritual, academic, and pastoral, right? So if, first and foremost, you're not going to make a good priest if you're not a good human being, <laughs> hopefully and a good man. Yeah, the four pillars come from uh, the PPF, which is the Program for Priestly Formation. So the Bishops' uh, Conference of the United States issues on a regular basis this um, outline for seminary life. And the PPF, following John Paul II and, and Vatican II, lays out these four pillars, namely human formation. So human formation, first, is sort of the, the ground, it's the, it's the uh, fundamental formation. To be formed as a decent human being, a person of virtue, of love, of sociability, of friendship. Someone who could be, in John Paul's language, a bridge between others and Christ. So that's human formation is key to what we do here. Secondly, you've got spiritual formation. And that's the whole formation in prayer, spirituality, the liturgy, the Eucharist, uh, Blessed Sacrament, adoration, holy hour, I mean, all of that. Spiritual direction, that's part of spiritual formation. Spiritual that you have to have a relationship with God. You can't give what you don't have. So you have to share that with other people. Thirdly, you've got academic or intellectual formation. That's obviously the study of theology in its various aspects, Bible, systematic theology, church history, ethics, etc. I think Mundelein is known for its strong academic program. The professors are incredible. You know, I remember uh, in one of my, my first or second year, walking into class and having the priest pick up a Bible that was in Hebrew and then read it in English out loud. So he was translating it as he was reading it. <laughs> and I was a little intimidated. And then finally you've got pastoral formation. And in some ways, if human formation is the ground, pastoral formation is sort of the crown, they say, of the four pillars because it all leads there. Everything you do, human, spiritual, academic formation, is meant to lead you to being a pastor. Pastoral, just that you have a sense of how to, how to work with people um, and how to speak to people and how to help people, um, especially in moments of deep, deep crisis. So John Paul says that the priest is head and shepherd of his people. He's head, leader, pastor, shepherd. And so pastoral formation is, you know, our field education. It's clinical pastoral education in hospitals. It's the pastoral internship, learning how to be a hands-on pastor of God's people. So those are the four pillars that structure uh, our life here. So all that is, is to train us and, and kind of form us, I think, in an identity. Um, and it takes time, you know? I think what I related to often, I have friends who are getting married right now and having their own children. And they ask like, oh, are you excited? Are you ready to be a priest? And I'm like, were you, how did you feel when you were about to have your child, your first child? And they often say, you know, like super excited. They couldn't wait, you know, uh, as I can imagine to be a father or a mother and to have their first baby. And yet there's this terror also because there's nothing that can make you ready for that. And so uh, that is in some sense how I feel. And yet at the same time, very grateful that the seminary has formed us in a very, very strong way. Well, one thing I did upon becoming rector and then with the um, you know, collaboration of the faculty here is to really remake the formation program along the lines of what I call the three paths of a spiritual life. And the three paths are finding the center, knowing you're a sinner, and realizing your life is not about you. The first path is the path of, of liturgy and sacraments and prayer, to find Jesus Christ as the clear center of your life. And so prayer is very important here at Mundelein, uh, teaching the ways of prayer, learning the great traditions of prayer. The dedication of our guys to their holy hour is extraordinary to me. So outside the regular rhythm of prayer, they also do a, a daily holy hour. That's finding the center. Secondly, knowing you're a sinner, realizing your attachments, your concupiscence, your addictions, your errant desires, your sin, all those things that block you from doing God's will, to come to terms with that is a major part of the formation program. Then thirdly, realizing your life is not about you. That means mission, that you've been sent 
to do the work of the Lord. Um, so that's a change that, that we affected very early on here when I became rector, was to make that the structuring logic of the formation program. Father Barron was my professor in my first few years here, and he was an amazing professor, as most people probably imagine. <laughs> I think it's been very energizing to have him as rector, just probably because of, of his own excitement and energy that he has around the faith and around theology. I mean, he is, he's a very charismatic personality, and he has the ability to, to ex make people excited about the faith, and so to have him as, as your leader with kind of a, a, a clear vision and one that is clearly succeeding in his own life is pretty inspirational. Father Barron, he's definitely bringing in this sense of energy into the seminary. Uh, he has a very uh, kind of broad vision, you know, for the formation itself. Uh, he truly wants to prepare uh, priests to be able to engage today's culture. And, you know, secularism is a real threat to, to people's self-understanding of who they are, what's their calling in life, you know, their calling to, to, to be uh, loving people, to, to their calling to uh, having that relationship with God that's going to give them meaning in life. For the academic faculty, I, I want a faculty that, uh, of course, are very skilled in the classroom, that can communicate well to our students, that can inspire them, I also want faculty who are um, publishing. I mentioned Mundelein being a powerhouse of the new evangelization. Well, part of that is at the intellectual level. And we have a lot of faculty here who are publishing in journals and publishing books and becoming part of the public conversation. The formation faculty, I want to be great models of priesthood. I want these to be great priests that our guys look to and say, I want to be as healthy and happy and together as that person is. I want them to teach the ways of prayer and the spiritual life, not just through words, but through their lives. And our whole program is designed to produce good spiritual fathers.